Hello there, this video will cover how to install MS Core fonts in a Linux desktop on an Android. If you are interested in Linux on an Android, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on an Android without running. There will be commands, further explanations, and updates in the pinned comment for this video. To install MS Core fonts, we will first need to edit the repository so that MS Core fonts will be listed. We can do this from a terminal by first executing cd space slash etc slash apt. This will change the directory to the slash etc slash apt file path. After that, we can do ls to list the files and folders in the current directory. Here we can see the sources.list file. Before we edit the sources.list file, we will do sudo space cp space sources.list space sources.bak. This will create a copy of the sources.list file and name it sources.bak. This just gives us something to come back to in case we mess something up. We can then do ls again to see the copy we made of the sources.list file. Now we can edit the sources.list file by doing sudo space nano space sources.list. From here we're going to add space contrib space non dash free to the line that ends with bullseye space main. Note that contrib and non dash free are sections and that we can add them to one or more separate lines by prefixing the sections with the same type, URI, and distribution. When we are done editing the sources.list file, we can then do Control O, Enter, and then Control X on our keyboard to save the file and exit nano. Now we'll need to be online because we are going to do sudo space apt space update space dash y to update the software index list. When we are done updating, we can then close out of the terminal. Note that we could have also edited the repositories through Synaptic by going to Synaptic's Settings menu and selecting Repositories. Here we can see the different parts of each line, which are the type, URI, distribution, and sections. Now I prefer to edit the repositories through the terminal because we were able to save a copy in case something went wrong, whereas if we edit the repositories here, there is no backup, so if you do edit the repository through Synaptic, then I recommend taking a screenshot beforehand. Now we are going to install MS Core fonts through the Synaptic Package Manager. First, we'll need to be online because we are going to click on the reload button to get an up-to-date list of the available software in Synaptic. When Synaptic is done reloading, we can then click on the search button and search by name for MS Core. When the search is done, we can then right click on TTF MS Core Fonts Installer, select Mark for Installation, and then click on the Mark button for the additional required changes. From there, to install MS Core Fonts, we just need to click on the Apply button and then click on Apply again to confirm the install. When the install is finished, we can generally ignore and close out of any errors, and then we can close out of Synaptic. Here I am just showing an example in LibreOffice Writer of some of the new fonts we installed that we can see in the pulldown. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, Linux on Android Phones and Tablets. And other than that, see you soon!